Christina, for many years, I've been experiencing my reality as an illusion, something that is not real, and I felt really separated from it. I'm always very spaced out. Is there a right place to start experiencing reality as real and living in union? Is it about working with the root chakra and grounding myself? So feeling kind of spaced out and feeling disconnected from reality is, is quite common during a spiritual awakening, especially the, the more initial phases of the spiritual awakening, especially if your spiritual awakening is triggered in a really rapid way. So a lot of people are waking up nice and slowly across many years, but then there's a lot of people that are waking up kind of in a bang. <laughs> that happened to me. That's what happened to me. So the faster, the, the, the faster your awakening moment goes, the, the more that you can feel this kind of disconnection, because literally you go from being asleep one day to awake the next. And so you feel totally and utterly disconnected from your old reality. So it, it's normal to feel spaced out for a certain amount of time is it's normal, completely normal during, during spiritual awakenings. When, when the, the sense of separation and when the sense of being spaced out and of not really being in this reality, when that feeling extends for many years, years or extends for a long time, then now we're not talking about regular um, uh, spiritual awakening symptoms or signs. Now we're talking more, we're looking more into um, energy issues. Um, and yeah, this person kind of was right when, when she said, is it just about the root chakra? So is it just about grounding myself in the root chakra? That's a great place to start because the more ungrounded I am in my root chakra, that's the first chakra, the more ungrounded I am in my root chakra, the more difficulties I'm going to have to in, in being grounded in this 3D regular life reality. Okay, so, so that's partially true that it does have to do with some grounding, but there's another missing piece of the puzzle that's important too when we're feeling any kind of disconnection or like we don't belong in this reality or like this reality is some kind of illusion, like we're not we're not fully grounded. There's something else going on and it's at the level of the heart actually. And what's going on is that heart is blocked also. When I when I feel disconnected, especially when I'm feeling disconnected for, for extended periods of time, sometimes people feel this way for years, sometimes people feel this way, have felt Felt this way all their lives. I've 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 worked with a lot of people who have had this issue of feeling completely disconnected, feeling completely like they don't belong here, like this is all an illusion their whole lives, and so. There is definitely some grounding issues going on. Usually uh, people who experience this uh, will have some kind of painful trauma or painful experience in childhood that ungrounds that first chakra. That's the first chakra is really made and developed in childhood, especially early childhood. But then there's also the heart issue going on. So the more my heart is closed, the less, uh, the less connected I feel to this reality, the less connected I feel to people and to nature and to things. I, I don't, I feel completely disconnected when my heart chakra is blocked because the heart chakra is the chakra of connection. So I can't really be fully connected, um, without this heart chakra. So yes, it's kind of, uh, I need to be grounded to be connected in this reality. That is very, very true. But I also need to have my heart open to feel connected in this reality. That's a really important piece of the puzzle. The more my heart is open, the more I'm going to start connecting with all things in this reality, not just people, but especially people. Because a lot of times what happens is when people say that, that this reality feels like an illusion or that they're spaced out a lot, it's usually they're not spaced out because they can't connect with, for instance, nature or animals. Because I have a lot of people, for instance, that I've worked with where they have a huge problem feeling spaced out and feeling like, like this is all an illusion, but they have no problem connecting to animals. So they'll have pets. They'll like to go into the forest. They'll like to connect with nature. But then when I ask, how, is, how are your relationships? They're like, uh, people, no. <laughs> I want nothing to do with people. And so this is a sign that that heart chakra is isn't fully functioning. It isn't fully open and fully developed. When you do open up, when you do open up connection to other people, this is going to help ground you in this reality much, much more. Our connection to other humans, our connection to each other is a fundamental need of the human body and of these beautiful souls, of these beautiful 
human selves. We are built for connection. We are absolutely built for connection. And there's actually a lot of research on this. So people who are, people who don't have any family, people who don't have friends, people who don't have a strong community around them, they'll die younger. This is, this, this has been researched for many, many years. There's, um, there's a really long study on longevity. Uh, the longest study on longevity in the world, it's been running for, I, I, I don't even know how many years, but I wanna say over a decade, for a really long time, uh, but I'm not sure on that, but it's the long, look it up. The longest uh, research, the longest study done on longevity, and one of the findings of this study is that the more connections, that meaningful connections that people have with others, the longer and happier they live. So this isn't, this isn't just a coincidence. This is because that beautiful heart chakra, when it is open and developed and connects with other people, specifically, I'm really emphasizing other people, not just for the person that asked this question, but for everybody really, when you start to open to connection with other people, you immediately ground in this reality. It's, it's just such beautiful, beautiful medicine. So for this person that, that feels disconnected and for anyone that feels disconnected, um, that feels like this reality is an illusion, like they're spaced out from this reality a lot, I would would give the same recommendation, which would be to start opening the heart. Yes, work grounding for sure. So do your grounding work. No question that that helps. Do your grounding work, but also then think about the heart chakra. Think about the quality of your relationships and how you can possibly start opening up and creating meaningful connections with other people. And you may be saying to me, I don't know how to connect. You know, I have no idea. You know, like I live in a small town in the middle of the U.S. I have nobody around me that understands me. I, I, I this is hopeless. It's not hopeless at all. We live in a globalized world. We live in a world where technology connects us. There are bad things about technology, but there are wonderful things about technology. We live in a world where we can be connected, literally. I mean, you're watching this video and you're, you could be halfway across the world as you're watching this video. We're connected, right? So technology really helps connect us. And so if you're alone in a, in a village or in a small town in the U.S. or in a village somewhere, you can still connect meaningfully to other people, but you need to be willing to make those connections. And that's where the heart starts to heal. Me, be willing to open up, to start to make those connections. The more that you meaningfully connect to other people, the more you start to feel grounded, not just grounded in this reality, but so joyful because this human vessel was made for connection. So, so use it, use it for connection. Don't be afraid open up more, you'll, you'll, you'll pretty soon, you're going to feel a difference and you won't feel as spaced out. You'll feel, you'll feel happier to be here because you're connected. And that's exactly what we're built for.